Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone, and good morning, and welcome to join uh, this talk. I'm very happy to give a presentation in this uh, workshop, machine learning on graphs, and thank you uh, for the uh, in, in invitation again. So, um, my name is uh, Wen Qifan, a assistant, a research assistant professor from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Uh, the topic I want to share today is uh, to work the trustworthy recommended systems, models, uh, vulnerabilities, and robustness. First, uh, I would like to briefly give an overview of recommender systems. So, uh, what are recommender systems? Uh, recommender systems are information filtering systems uh, for addressing, uh, addressing information overload problem. And they try to filter some items and suggest relevant items to users uh, based on their uh, uniqueness and preferences uh, from their historical uh, behaviors. And uh, here, this item can be any products and friends, uh, news, and movies, and so on. And uh, you may have already noted uh, recommended systems uh, have already occupied our daily life, especially at many uh, user-based uh, online services like e-commerce and uh, social media. So, uh, for example, uh, from e-commerce, uh, we know Amazon, eBay. Of course, in China, uh, we have the Taobao and Jingdong. And here is an example from uh, Amazon. Uh, this is the uh, the most uh, frequent recommendation scenario. I believe a lot a lot of you know it. So uh, when you want to buy a product like a book, here a system will recommend a, a package book A, B, and C, and to be frequently uh, purchased together. So uh, next example is from the content uh, sharing services like the music, uh, image, or the video sharing. For example, uh, TikTok is one of the global social networkings for sharing uh, short videos, right? In these uh, platforms, uh, videos are recommended to users uh, with similar interests or attributes. And what's more, the TikTok uh, recommendation algorithms uh, was selected as one of the top 10 uh, global uh, breakthrough uh, technologies in 2021 by MIT Technology Review, and mainly because the uh, TikTok recommendation algorithms uh, can satisfy each user's uh, specific interests. Another example uh, you are interested in, uh, in addition to recommend this, this kind of products and contents, we are also recommend uh, peoples and friends in uh, online world, like in this kind of uh, social networkings and the social medias, such as the Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Weibo, and uh, WeChat, right? And moreover, uh, the social relations in the uh, social network can help capture users' preferences for better uh, recommendation performance, especially in app like uh, uh, WeChat, right? Uh, where we can communicate with our close friends as well as read articles. And uh, this article uh, presented in WeChat uh, might be highlighted uh, for use and due to the behaviors of uh, our uh, social neighbors. Okay, uh, after the overview of recommender systems, uh, next part I would uh, like to share some uh, representative work uh, based uh, with a specific focus on uh, graph neural networks uh, based recommendation methods. And the existing recommendation uh, methods uh, follow a general uh, uh, supervised learning uh, paradigm. For example, uh, given a user item interaction and match it, right? Uh, we will transform each interaction into an independent data instance. Then uh, we fit uh, this uh, instance into the supervised learning models to perform the predictions including the representation learning part and the interaction uh, modeling. Here, probably uh, we would like to use the deep neural networks to achieve these two steps. 
Uh, however, uh, such a learning paradigm uh, treats each interaction as an independent instance and ignore the implicit and explicit relationships among the instances. And we would like to call it the information isolated isolated issue. In fact, uh, there exists uh, potential relationships among users and items. For example, uh, there are uh, behavior similarities among the users and items. So uh, such a learning paradise uh, may overlook uh, the relations among these instances and leading to suboptimal performance. Uh, on the other hand, in the data in recommender systems can be represented as graph structure data. For example, uh, the first one is the key graph. Uh, we call it the user item graph, denoting the interaction between users and items. And the second graph uh, usually uh, exists in social networking size. We call it the user user social graph, uh, denoting the relationships between users. The last one is item graph, uh, denoting the substitutable and the complementary items or items uh, external uh, knowledge. Okay, uh, considering the data as graph structure data, uh, that uh, can provide a great opportunity to explore and exploit the relations among users and items. And then the question is coming, uh, how to model such graph structure data uh, while still achieving a promising performance for recommender systems? One of the potential solutions is to take advantage of the power of vision graph neural network techniques to model such kind of uh, graph structure data. Uh, so, uh, and the graph uh, neural network techniques and have achieved great promising performance in learning uh, meaningful uh, no representations. So, and the main idea behind it is to iteratively aggregate the feature information from the local neighborhoods by using the neural networks. And at the same time, uh, the no information can be propagated through the graph after the feature transformation and the aggregations. So uh, given this uh, advantage, the graph neural networks uh, provide the great opportunities to advance our recommendation uh, systems. Uh, here, I would like to uh, use uh, social recommendations as example uh, to briefly uh, introduce how GM, GM model uh, based uh, recommendation model work. The motivation behind social recommendation is that uh, users can acquire and disseminate information through their social relations, like the classmates and friends and so on. In detail, uh, friends on social networks can exhibit uh, similar attributes and behaviors. One is our peer influence, that uh, individual can influence uh, our friends uh, to transfer uh, our friends' uh, characteristics and behaviors uh, to be similar. The other is a homophonies, right? In which uh, people uh, with similar uh, characteristics or behaviors are likely uh, to exhibit the social ties. And data in, uh, in social recommender systems can represent this as a graph data with the user item graph and the social graph here the user can bridge these uh, two graphs. So uh, we need to uh, use uh, both graphs for enhancing the user and item representation learning. Then uh, I will go in to introduce graph, uh, graph web model, which was proposed in W 2019. And this work is one of the most represented gene-based uh, recommendation methods. Basically, uh, this model consists of three components, the user modeling, item modeling, and the weighting predictions. In, in user modeling, uh, used to uh, use two different uh, general aggregations to process uh, these two different graphs. One is item aggregation. Uh, it used to 
uh, understand users from the interactions with different items in the user item graph. And the other aggregation in is the social aggregation for learning relationships uh, between users in the social uh, graph. Uh, this can help us understand users from the social aspect. And the item modeling is used to learn uh, the representations about items. The last part is to do the uh, prediction. And let's move on. Have a, let's look, uh, take a look at this demonstration about the social aggregation. And we first use the item aggregation to learn the item space, uh, user latent factors in the user item graph. Uh, after that, uh, the social aggregation is proposed to learn the social space uh, user latent factors from this uh, social graph. And in addition to model uh, modeling uh, user item interaction and the uh, user's social relations, uh, item item uh, relationships such as the substitutable and uh, complementary relationships are also very important in recommendations. For example, on some e-commerce sites like Amazon and Taobao, they allow users to uh, navigate uh, between products through the link such as a user who reach uh, product A also with product B, and a user who uh, bought product A uh, also uh, bought product B. And at the same time, in many cases, the customers can generate a positive uh, utility if they uh, consume together, such as the iPhone and AirPod, and connecting the Apple's AirPods and the iPhones can deliver the positive uh, values to end users. So we extend, we extend our graph graph model by further considering these uh, substitutable and complementary items to enhance uh, items representation learning in social recommendations. And we construct an item uh, graph and use another gen aggregator to enhance the items representations. Uh, so uh, I just introduced advanced uh, GM based recommendation techniques. So next part, I will introduce the vulnerabilities of recommender systems. At first, uh, we may uh, note that the deep neural networks are highly vulnerable to adversarial attack. Here we have a picture of Panda as uh, which can be uh, correctly uh, classified as pandas by the deep learning network. Uh, however, if we add uh, some small adversarial perturbations, SROMs, to these pictures, although to our human, this is still a panda, but the neural network uh, is fooled and classify it as a, an a Gibbons with high uh, uh, confidence. Uh, similarly, uh, despite the great development of the recommendation models, our server attack can also happen in most existing recommender systems. And for example, uh, it's reported that the online markets like the Amazon, eBay, or the social media uh, platforms like the uh, Facebook or the Twitter, uh, they are afforded uh, with a uh, fake reviewer or connections. And these uh, fake reviews are really uh, damages uh, to customer and sellers. So a uh, million of people uh, make, uh, making their shopping decisions uh, based on reviews. And if uh, these are misleading or untrust, uh, customers could end up being misled to buy something uh, that isn't suitable to, for them. So uh, it can undermine the platform's long-term trust. So uh, we should uh, start uh, the recommendation vulnerability and understand how, how attack can be performed, right? After that, uh, we can decide some uh, solutions to defense against this uh, potential attack. And one of the most uh, popular ways to attack recommender system is uh, data poisoning attack 
uh, where the attack aims to generate users with well-designed profiles to promote or depromote target items in recommended systems. For example, to attack the target item VJ here with promotion purpose, an attacker can generate can create fake user with, with a set of items and inject them into the systems. However, uh, there are some challenges in existing attacking methods. First, existing uh, attacking methods aims to generate fake uh, user profiles. However, uh, this generated fake user profile are uh, easy uh, to be detected. Uh, because uh, they present a uh, very different uh, patterns from the uh, real profiles in the target systems. On the other hand, uh, some uh, some uh, real, uh, real world uh, recommendation platforms have similar functionalities, right? For example, the product recommendation uh, platforms, Taobao and the GD.com share a lot of items. And Amazon and Best Buy have millions of products in common. And moreover, and users from these uh, platforms with uh, similar uh, functionalities also share similar behaviors, uh, uh, preference, or uh, patterns. So it's also, uh, also uh, well known as the cross domain recommendations. So, so to tackle the first challenging uh, in this world, Instead of generating a uh, user with uh, fake profiles, we propose to copy uh, cross domain uh, users uh, with a real profile from other domains. So let's uh, have a look at this example. We have the target domain A and the source domain B for the movie recommendations. And this uh, domain share a lot of uh, movies. So to attack uh, the target item VJ here, the user uh, uh, here uh, in the source domain B uh, will be copied into the uh, target domain A as a new uh, user, such that the movie uh, VJ uh, can be attacked and promoted to uh, people as most uh, as many as possible. And in fact, it it, it could be the case that uh, there is this a uh, two. Uh, different uh, platforms in competition, right? Which each other, uh, one uh, platform uh, could attack the recommendation performance of its uh, competitors, such as the Taobao and the GT.com and Amazon and Best Buy. Okay, and the second challenge uh, we may meet is that uh, the majority of existing attacking methods and focus on the white box and the gray box setting we attack uh, required to have full knowledge of the target model and data sets. However, uh, with uh, privacy and the security concerns, uh, such a uh, requirement is impossible and unrealistic. So uh, we propose uh, reinforcement learning uh, based uh, black box attacking methods that learns to choose uh, users' profiles in source domain with only queries feedback from the target systems. I think here is the RL environment. Uh, the, uh, the action is to select the user profile in the source domain B, and we define the reward as the hit, hitting re ratio HR. And we also use uh, some uh, spicer users in the target system to queries uh, and get the reward. And let's have a quick look at the whole framework, which consists of three major components, the user more, uh, profile selection and the user profile uh, crafting and the injection attack and queries. The first component is to perform the user profile selection for specific target items from the source domain and to adjust the challenges of efficiency and the effectiveness in IL uh, due to the uh, large scale uh, action space, uh, we develop a hierarchical uh, uh, structure policy gradient network with a uh, uh, masking uh, mechanisms to effect efficiently learn the strategies of selecting uh, the cross domain uh, users' profiles. 
uh, net, uh, with netting the cost domain a uh, profile. The second component is to is used to uh, uh, craft, uh, uh, modify the user profile by considering the reduction of attacking cost and the noise. The first component is the injection attack and the query. So in the first component, uh, we construct a hierarchical clustering tree over the cost domain user profile where each uh, leaf node is represented as a user profile and each non leaf node is a policy gradient network. So selecting a user profile here uh, is uh, in this uh, hierarchical clustering tree is to seek a path from the uh, rules to a certain leaf of the tree. And moreover, uh, we to further reduce the action span, we introduce a masking mechanism to uh, locate info informatic cost domain user profile. Here, we mask the cost domain user profile uh, that do not include the target item. However, it's not necessary that all the interaction in in the cost domain are useful, right? So, in, in just naively injecting this entire row user profile into the target system may not only increase the attacking bad, uh, uh, budgets, but also in, in, in add some noise as well, right? So we develop a policy uh, gradient network uh, to clip the uh, cost, cost domain user profile with a window size and W uh, around the target item. And the last part um, is to copy the uh, target, uh, copy uh, the cost domain user profile into the target system to attack and the query on the spice users on the target uh, system to perform uh, and, and get the feedback to update our uh, whole uh, framework. Another attacking uh, methods under black box setting is to take advantage of site information for items such as the knowledge graph for improving the generation quality for of the fake user profile. And so I will skip this part uh, due to the time limitation. So and so um taking the movie uh, recommendation as examples in order in order to attack the movie uh, we took the pirates of the uh, Caribbean uh, fight, right? An attacker can take advantage of the target item, V2's attributes, like the uh, producers and actors, to establish the uh, close connections between the target item, uh, V2, with uh, some existing uh, movies, like the item V1. As a result, the target uh, movie V2 is likely to recommend this to a uh, normal user who are interested in the uh, item V1. Here is the overall framework of our proposed methods. KG attack, uh, we, we have the uh, knowledge enhanced uh, state representation. Uh, this uh, we take advantage of the knowledge graph to enhance the uh, state representations for the IL environment. And we also have the uh, the poly hierarchical policy uh, networks. First, uh, we use a policy network to generate uh, an anchor items. Uh, then uh, with given the anchor item, uh, we have the knowledge enhanced uh, 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 candidate selection, uh, which is to take advantage of the knowledge graph to generate an item pool for next step is the also and policy networks to pick an items from the pool for fake user uh, uh, generation. So uh, to defend adversarial attack, uh, we need to decide some solutions for enhancing the robustness of recommended systems. And we first conducted uh, pre preliminary studies to demonstrate the non-robustness of existing GM-based recommendation methods, such as the nitrogen by adding different uh, perturbations. From these figures, uh, we found that the performance of the nitrogen uh, significantly dropped 
when the interaction between users and items uh, become more noisy. The, the main motivation behind it is that and most existing GNN-based recommendation uh, systems, uh, they equally uh, treat uh, all these interactions and overlook some unreliable behaviors like the error server perturbation or some knip bytes, right? Here is the general uh, propagation rules in most existing GNN methods. The user and item embeddings are equally propagated to their local neighborhoods. And this uh, might uh, lead to the sub-optimal uh, sub representation learning for recommendations. So uh, motivated by the concept of the change filtering and the graph change uh, trans filterings, uh, we propose to uh, design a new uh, collaborative filtering methods that can adaptively uh, propagate the embedding in the recommender system, which can lead to more accurate and robust recommendation results. So technically, our uh, main idea is to enhance the uh, local smoothness adaptive of GN, and it's motivated by the idea of the uh, transfiltering technique. Like the L1 transfiltering uh, was proposed in 2009, right? And to uh, estimate the trans in the time series data. And this idea was also applied uh, to the graph signals by extending different operators on general uh, graph data. And due to time limitation, so I cannot detail this part. And in this uh, slide, uh, we can see that the existing uh, GN propagation can be formulated as solving the graph uh, Nabonassan smoothing problem to enforce uh, embedding smoothness over the user item interaction uh, graph. Uh, basically, uh, the embedding propagations enforce the user embedding, the EI, and the item embedding EJ to be closed if there exist interactions uh, between them. So uh, we propose uh, the embedding smoothness objective for the user item graph to adaptively propagate the user and item embeddings in the recommendations. Let's have a look at this objective. The first component uh, preserves the proximities uh, with the initial embedding of the user and items. And the second term here, impose the embedding smoothness over the interactions. So uh, what are the difference compared with the objective in the general GM-based recommendations? Here, our methods can be considered as the uh, uh, rating versions where the smoothness over the interaction between I and J in the user item graph. Uh, and it weighted by the W uh, IJ, this weight. So if an interaction uh, happens between the uh, user and, and items that has a significant uh, difference or, or difference uh, embeddings, uh, such interaction uh, might be uh, unreliable or uh, may not reflect the actual uh, preferences of the users. So it should be downweighted. So. Uh, here is the uh, experiment results. And so by adding uh, different perturbations, our proposed methods, GTN in blue colors, outperforms all uh, other uh, baselines. Okay, uh, before we end our my presentation, I would like to uh, give some uh, directions of the uh, recommendations. Uh, we can look ahead. Indeed, uh, recommender systems uh, technique uh, have uh, been widely used in many uh, uh, real-world applications, especially in critical systems like the finance and healthcare, right? However, along with uh, their uh, rapid and impressive development, and recommender systems uh, have all, 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 all already explored uh, their uh, untrustworthy size. So how to build a trustworthy recommender systems has become an important topic in 
both academia and industry. There are many dimensions uh, to achieve uh, trustworthy recommender systems. Here, I just introduce uh, six of the most important aspects. They are safety and robustness, and non-discrimination and fairness, uh, explainability, privacy, and environmental well-being, and the accountability and auditability. In this talk, uh, we just uh, introduced the uh, safety and robustness uh, dimensions. Uh, what's more, uh, an ideal uh, trustworthy uh, recommender assistance should satisfy these uh, six uh, dimensions at the same time. In uh, re uh, realities, uh, these uh, six dimensions actually are not independent of uh, one another. So uh, the satisfaction of one dimension can promote or violate uh, the pursuit of another dimension. So uh, it's uh, also important to consider their interactions among these uh, different dimensions. So um, for more uh, information about this uh, trustworthy recommender systems, you can refer to our recent survey paper, a uh, comprehensive service on trustworthy recommender systems and our incoming tutorial in at uh, Triple W 2023. Okay, uh, here are some paper I share today. Okay, um, uh, that's all of my presentation and thank you for your listening. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Wenxi. Yeah. Um, I believe we have a few minutes for questions. Does anyone have a question for Wenxi? Mm -hmm. No, if not, I have, uh, <clears throat> I, have a, I have a question for you. Uh, so I guess, uh, you know, the, the first work you presented, the, the graph rec work, um, I'm kind of curious, uh, you know, the, the model that you shared with the, you know, the different types of aggregations on the user, uh, the user user graph and the user item graph, in addition to like modeling the item space separately. Uh, do you feel there's kind of uh, actual, you know, gains, significant gains from the model complexity in these social recommendation problems where, um, you know, it, the, the architectures we have to design for these problems are, are fairly complicated. You know, they require yes. multiple types of aggregations and multiple types of heads. Um, so I'm kind of curious, like, if you have any uh, anecdotal uh, studies on on the uh, kind of ablation of, um, you know, not including some of those aggregation types. Um, so, yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you for these uh, uh, questions. Actually, uh, uh, at the begin at the very beginning, uh, we uh, do this work. Uh, we do not consider about these uh, these uh, model uh, complexities. In this uh, this model, a uh, I have some issues. Uh, we probably uh, can consider to, I mean, uh, to um, uh, propose or develop another night uh, uh, GM based uh, social recommendation, especially in uh, like the uh, night addition or other uh, uh, other methods. Probably we can consider the, I mean, uh, to remove some uh, some feature transformation and some uh, aggregations, uh, this kind of, or this kind of methods. I think uh, in recent uh, GN uh, um, technique, we found that uh, some uh, probably we can remove the feature transformation or the uh, activation functions. The performance can be, uh, can, it, it can improve, right? So I think uh, this also is uh, very important. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, direction and we can work on, especially in the industry. Okay, thank you. Got it. Thanks, Wenchi. Yeah, thank you. Uh, any more questions? Yeah, Mert. Uh, yeah. So, thank you so much for your talk. Uh, so my question is about, so this content creators, so for example, in TikTok, there are content creators and uh, this, these recommendation system can be biased towards some content creators that uh, you can they can be recommended more to users so what do you think about this bias towards uh, different individuals 
in these recommender systems, especially in 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 the, in, the, in, the, in this industry. Uh, pardon, uh, uh, please. Yes. So what my question was, uh, in academia, most likely we are thinking that each user is actually the same. So based on their attributes, we can recommend like and differently, like based on the user and the item relationship, right? But in industry, for business models, you can bias towards some content creators because maybe company agree with the, these content creators. So you will recommend more these content creators. Like uh, for example, Spotify can agree with one uh, musicians, then the, the recommendations based on the musicians will be more frequent to the users. So it's kind of a bias in the recommender system. So it's like a, you are um, actually changing your recommender systems in terms of bias towards some uh, user. What do you think about this kind of uh, bias? Like, uh, is it fair or uh, like- Okay, I, I got it. So, okay, thank you for, for your question. Yes, I think uh, that uh, definitely this is, uh, I think it's still uh, the challenging, pro uh, the challenge in industries because uh, we need to balance the, uh, I think uh I think some performance and the uh, users uh, I think the diversity right uh, probably we, we we need to have the balance uh whether if if we uh, aims to I mean aggressively I mean improve the performance definitely uh user maybe they uh they uh, they will I mean uh they have they they will feel boring in in the same uh. It, uh, for for in this in this platforms, so they they need to explore and explore more different things in the in in the system. I think uh, that is I think uh, the our, our research domain uh, have uh, realized this issue and or also propose some methods to adjust it, especially some uh, devising methods. Yes, thank you.